So you can see that I got the data over here and let's say I want to rewrite them over here onto this column right here uh, in a different way. So let's say I want to write the same data in a form of a sentence. So I'm going to just say Robert Watson uh, has advanced photography skill. All right. So this is in a form of a sentence. So you can see that Robert is data from over here. That's the first name. Watson is the last name. Uh, it just says had, so I'm just, I'm just gonna change it to has. It is not from any of the column right here. Advanced, that's the level, and photography is from the skill. So you can see that this is the sentence. Let's say um, that you want to write it all over again. Then it might take a lot of time. So instead of that, you can simply select this cell and it knows, the Excel knows that I have taken the data from over here. So it'll analyze uh, the way the sentence is written. And if I were to press flash fill over here, you can see that the same uh, sentence have been copied over, but with the respective data. Over here, you can see that Jenny Bird is taken from the first name and last name, according to what I wrote over here. Um, and the skill, it has taken intermediate animation skill, as you can see right here. I can do that with anything. So if I want to rearrange this first and last, last name, for example, Robert Watson in a capital letter right, like this, simply select this and press flash fill, just like that. So you know, just um, have it in a different way. Let's say just the last name, Watson, comma, Robert. All right, and then do flash fill. Then you get the data as well. Alternatively, I can just write it in and it'll fill up the rest for me. So I'm, I'm just going to type in Bert, Jenny, as you can see, and press flash fill. And everything is actually filled out just like that. So that is how you can use flash fill inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.